Hello, my darlings, and welcome. In this video, I invite you to plan with me for the month of May. I create a set of printable planner stickers and plan out a magical month. I'm using a pastel rainbow color palette and a butterfly theme. Let's do some magical crafting. Thank you for joining me as I plan for May and a month of magical crafting as well as some hard work. My planner stickers and planner pages were inspired by the butterfly stickers that you'll see me use later in this video. I'll leave a link to all of the materials I used in this video in the description below. I have also included timestamps for each section of creating stickers and filling in my planner pages so you can easily navigate to whatever interests you. In the month of May, I decided to design my planner stickers using butterflies as the theme. I used watercolor paint to create artwork for my planner stickers and drew and painted five butterflies in five different colors. I provide a set of printable planner stickers to my patrons each month using the art and stickers I create for myself and use in my Plan With Me videos. I'll put a link to this month's stickers below the video. Last month, I posted a poll on my YouTube community page and on my Patreon page, asking if I should keep making my monthly Plan With Me videos or not. And the results were overwhelmingly positive to keep the videos. You all seem to enjoy a sneak peek into the channel content for the upcoming month, as well as the downloadable printable planner stickers. The month of May is going to be full of work on every single day of the month. May is the last month I'll be working out of my art studio and office space. I'm moving everything to a home office this month. I've been mentioning this for a few months now, and it's finally happening. June 1st will be my first day filming and editing in my home office. I hope to be able to create more content that includes cooking or gardening now that I'll be home and I'll be able to film those more easily. I'll also be returning to wood burning crafts now that I don't have to worry about the smell bothering or scaring any of my office neighbors. I scanned my butterfly paintings into Photoshop, color corrected them, and then added them to my sticker sheets. This month, I decided to use five different pastel watercolor backgrounds for my stickers to give a rainbow look to my pages. I printed out all seven sheets of stickers for the month. Each weekly sheet contains an illustrated starter sticker, strips for each day of the week, mini icon stickers, moon faces, a page header, and a few more blank strips. I use a paper cutter to trim out my stickers to get straight cuts and to avoid struggling with scissors. If you'd like to download a PDF of these planner stickers, please visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. My patrons can download recipes, book of shadows pages, artwork, and more, all provided as PDFs. And I continue to add new downloadable content as I do more projects on the channel. Now let's get into my planner pages. This is a monthly planner I designed. It's available on Amazon and contains 210 pages. 
In fact, I have a whole series of magical crafting workbooks, planners, and grimoires. I'll leave a link to this planner below, as well as a link to my entire book series. The first page of each month is a full page dotted with space for a header. This page can be used for any number of planning purposes, from bullet lists, journaling, affirmations, and more. Each month, I try to use my page in a slightly different way to give you some different ideas on how to use the stickers in the planner. This month, I'm going to use my strips to create a monthly habit tracker for two things that are important for me to keep track of this month. The first one is for getting one hour of movement each weekday. Monday through Friday, it's my intention to go for a walk each morning at the lake near my house. Each time I do this, I'll mark off a day. I'm crossing out the weekends. However, I may get a walk or two in on those days as well. It's just not part of the planned regime. I'm adding some pictures I've taken on my earlier walks at the lake to inspire me to get out of the house and get some movement in. I'm so lucky to live near an award-winning recreational area with lakes and park areas. Lots of birds, such as gulls, herons, ducks, geese, grackles, woodpeckers, and more. During springtime, there are so many adorable baby birds watched over by doting parents. The second habit I want to track is doing at least one task every day towards moving my office home. Setting up my home office, an art and crafting area, and filming area. There's so much that needs to get done, including moving my internet service, getting a P.O. box, moving furniture, and the most time-consuming task of all, getting all of my craft and art supplies into my home office in an organized fashion. I'm adding 30 numbered lines underneath to note down the task I did each day. This may seem like a bit of overkill, but I know that I'll need this kind of accountability to get the project done on time. Turning in my keys is the final item. The right side of the two-page spread is where I plan out my monthly magical crafting channel content and make note of the moon faces. As I do every month, I create a section with all of the moon faces so I can plan a new moon and a full moon ritual and so that I can consult the moon phases as needed to plan my magical workings. Though I don't let the phase of the moon stop me from practicing my craft as needed. Knowing the moon phases is also helpful when I'm planning month-long projects. My Plan With Me videos give you a preview sneak peek into what's coming on the Magical Crafting channel in the upcoming month. Scheduling all of the videos for this channel is the main focus of the monthly overview page. I'm writing out all of my video ideas for the month. As part of my self-care practice, I only produce as many videos as I can without stressing myself out, working an unhealthy number of hours, or pushing myself toward burnout. The videos I list each month in my Plan With Me videos are always an aspirational list. Sometimes I drop video ideas or add other videos if I get inspired to do a new idea or if I get a comment suggesting a new video idea that I'm really drawn to. My upcoming Art Witch Wednesday live streams will be on the first and third Wednesdays of May. On Wednesday, May 4th at 4 p.m. Pacific time, I'm crafting a shrine to the Egyptian goddess Bast or Bastet. On the Wednesday, March 18th live stream, I'll be creating an acrylic painting to turn into a pen pal card for my pen pal patrons. I posted a poll on my Patreon and on my YouTube community tab to find out which woodland creature you all wanted to see me paint. The most votes went to a wolf cub, and so that will be the subject of my live stream. I hope you'll join me for those live streams 
if they sound like something you might be interested in. I also plan out my Patreon rewards for May, a Book of Shadows page for a spell candle, my printable June planner stickers, and of course I'll mail out pen pal cards as well. There's no holiday printable greeting card this month as Litha falls in June. Now let's look inside my weekly pages. I filled out all of the daily headers with their dates. I decided to alternate the days on different colored strips to give a rainbow look to each weekly spread. And then I created all of my weekly spreads. These are the butterfly stickers that inspired my monthly theme. I'll link to this set below. You may notice that the first week of May starts on a Sunday, so I skipped the weekly start sticker this week and put Sunday in the first position. As I place down all of my daily headers, I'm adding weekly start stickers at the beginning of each week. Each one of the illustrated weekly starter stickers this month has been designed as a weekly habit tracker for three habits. You can use these to track anything you need to do daily, such as hydration, diet, taking medication, vitamins, or supplements, a gratitude practice, a spell working that takes multiple days, or anything else you can think of. I'm adding some decorative washi tape borders and lots and lots of butterfly stickers to each page. I place the new moon and the full moon stickers into my planner and note down the days I'll do a full moon and a new moon ritual. The sticker set includes all of the moon faces, however I'm only using the new and full stickers this month. The new moon falls twice in the month of May. If you'd like to see a video on some suggestions for celebrating the new and full moons each month, let me know in the comments. I note the days I intend to live stream, potential days I would like to publish my videos during the months, and add in filming and editing tasks to support that video schedule. I also note all of the days I plan to upload Patreon rewards and which rewards I'm uploading. Because I had four empty days left at the end of the month, I decided to fill up my final weekly spread with four affirmation panels using the four square line stickers. I am healthy and full of energy. I am grateful for my good health. The universe is always helping me, sometimes in unexpected ways. I am mindful of my creative energy, my desire to make many things, and my need for rest. My social skills are growing. I make friends and socialize easily and often. A little more washi tape to finish off my pages and it's time for the final flip through for the month. I hope this plan with me video provided you with some inspiration for your own planning endeavors and has given you a sneak peek into the month of May for me and the channel content. 